Hello, welcome to the Junos Annotate Command Learning Byte. I'm Gordon Mosley with the Education Services Department at Juniper Networks. Let's get started. After successfully completing this learning byte, you will be able to add comments to a Junos configuration file using the Annotate command. The Junos operating system allows an administrator to add comments to a device's configuration file. These comments can be used to make the configuration file easier to understand and, and parts of the configuration you know, easier to identify. Now, I'm going to kind of show you in this slide, I know it's a little busy here, but I want to show you kind of a before and after. So I have a, an OSPF configuration enabled on a particular node. It has two interfaces, one pointing to a router called P1 and, and another interface pointing to a router called P2 in my sample network. And I want to add some comments to those so administrators that follow me that weren't here when this was built might be able to easily or more easily interpret what this configuration is, is for. And so on the left-hand side, I under the correct branch of the configuration hierarchy, I can run an annotate command. And so I say annotate interface, in this case, giggy001.0. And I'm going to, the annotation is simply a text string. It must be placed in quotes. And so in this case, I said link to P1. And I did the same thing for the Gigi002 interface. I annotated it and I said link to P2. And then so, you know, after I've hit enter, after executing those commands, and really any time going forward that I run show configuration under this block of the uh, configuration hierarchy, you'll see in the after screen, you'll see the annotation it's actually delimited by you know a forward slash and a, and, and a star right that's how it's you know kind of encapsulated and here's my one so it appears above the annotation appears above the object that you're trying to annotate it does it doesn't appear below right and so that's an example and, and you can use these anywhere in your configuration file I just Try to pick an example that was kind of easy to see and easy to, to interpret. I'm going to demonstrate this process for you. I've got an example lab diagram I'd like you to take a look at just to help you understand, you know, kind of what, what's pointing where and what these configuration options are. So I'm going to run, I'm going to add the annotations to the configuration file of the VMX1 node. It is an OSPF router that has two interfaces with OSPF enabled in, in this diagram, the Gigi001 interface that connects to the P1 router and the Gigi002 interface that we saw on the previous screen that connects to the P1 router. Now, again, I, I built this, it's my network, but the administrator that follows me may not understand where these interfaces are going. So to make it easier for them to understand this network topology in their environment, I wanna go ahead and add some annotations to these interfaces under the OSPF protocol stanza in the VMX1 device configuration file. So this is the VMX1 node that we saw in the lab di diagram. I'm going to navigate to the Edit Protocols OSPF branch of the configuration hierarchy and execute a show command. So here is the area zero configured on this node. I can see the Gigi001 interface, Gigi002, but again, there's no comments here. It makes perfect sense to me, but it won't to anybody else. So I want to use the annotate command. Now there's a little bit of a peculiarity about the annotate command is that you have to run the annotate command at the hierarchy level that you want to place the comment. So for example, annotate, if I say annotate area zero and I go, I try to do interface and hit tab, you know, or the space bar to auto complete this, it won't auto complete. You, you see, I'm a little too high in the hierarchy to actually add a comment to the interface under area zero. So I, I, I'm going to change the, you know, navigate a little further down to, to area zero in the configuration hierarchy. And now I'm going to try to annotate the Gigi001 interface. And I'm allowed to auto-complete these values. So I'm at the correct location in the configuration hierarchy to actually add a comment for this particular interface. Now remember, you have to put it in quotes. It can span multiple lines if you like. I'm going to add just an annotation here, say, hey, link to P1. Now, I'd like to also add an annotation to the 
P2 inter uh, Gigi002 interface and identify it as the link to P2. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to issue a show command. And hey, look at me. I, I've added my, my comments in here. And here's how they appear, right? They, as, as I was mentioning earlier, they appear above the object you are applying the comment to. So this is how it would appear when I run a, a show command to view the configuration on this node. So hopefully this will help somebody you know, down the line understand what this configuration is doing. So it's really easy to, to add comments just using the annotate command as long as you're parked at the correct location in the configuration hierarchy. And you'll kind of figure that out based on, hey, I, I can't auto-complete this. Now, so that was easy for me to pick up. What was hard for me to pick up was how to actually then remove the comment, right? There's not an unannotate command or a delete annotate command. So now that I have the comments in here, I want to show you how to remove them. So I'm going to run the same annotate command, but I actually take the comment out from between the quotes. And now I can see that the comment has been removed from above the Giggy001 interface. I'm going to do the same thing for Giggy002. Giggy I'm just simply going to remove the comment from the annotate command. We'll run the show and voila, it's all gone. So there's some examples of using the annotate command to add and remove comments to a device's configuration file. In this learning byte, we added comments to a Junos configuration file using the annotate command. Thank you very much. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.